Over the last few weeks, COVID-19 tests have been difficult to come by, and now you can place an order through the federal government to have at-home tests delivered to you by mail for free. But we know you still have some questions about all of this. Tracy Ann McPierre spent the day working to get you answers. She joins us live from the 17th Street Bridge in Atlanta with much more. Tracy? Well, the website is now live and the first tests are expected to be shipped over the next 12 days. So realistically, these tests should start arriving on doorsteps the first week of February. It's been almost impossible to get tests when you need them. 11 so Alive medical expert Dr. Back. Sujatha Reddy reaffirming what most of us have already experienced. As the Omicron variant spread, causing a surge in cases, testing has become increasingly difficult. Now, the U.S. government is sending half a billion at-home rapid COVID test kits through the United States Postal Service. Here's how it works. You log on to covidtests.gov and enter your address. And then, a couple of weeks later, a package shows up at your house. But there are some questions like, how often can I place an order? And if I have a big family, how many tests can I get? As of now, it's a one-time deal. Each address will get one kit with four tests inside, regardless of how many people live at your home. And no duplicate orders are allowed, so once you use these, they're gone. Another question from viewers, how long should you wait before you take these at-home tests? Dr. Reddy says the Omicron incubation time is shorter, so once symptoms start, it's a good time to test. Viewers also asking, if one person has symptoms, should you test the whole family? Dr. Reddy says you don't need to go that far at first. If you have someone who has symptoms in a household or was at an event where someone turned up positive, it makes sense to test that person. Then if they're negative, wait and test them again. And only if they're positive should you test the whole family. Which brings us to our final question. How effective are these at-home tests? Reddy says they aren't as sensitive or as accurate as a PCR test, which is still the gold standard. So while a positive at-home test means you definitely have COVID, a negative test could go either way. With the at-home test, you may get false negatives. Because of that, your best bet if you test negative but still have symptoms is to wait a few days and then test again. Now, it's also worth noting that these tests have an expiration date, so be sure to check that if you don't use them right away. Now, coming up at 6, I'll tell you how this latest surge could affect herd immunity. Always a good idea to get tested for a second time. Tracy, thank you.